So here's the setup to do the angles on the uh, toe clamps. Uh, I've got the angle plate set up and squared on the mill, clamped down. Now, underneath I'm using a machinist jack and a small triangle in here to set our 30 degrees. And then we clamp the whole plate down to maintain that angle with a stack of blocks and a toe clamp over here. I've got a parallel squared on the table and bolted down. Uh, we have a, a bolt over here to get square on our parts. So we lay our four, four clamps in here. We square them up in the corner. Use a piece of copper wire because all your clamps are exactly the same thickness, right? And this will hold the loose guys down. Next we'll put a cover plate. And clamp it down on the sides. And we're not afraid to torque this down good. And I guess supper is ready. That's pretty much it. We'll flip them over to the other side. So on this setup we're going to drill the uh, hole at the end for the quarter 20 threads for the... What is it we're going to drill? So in this setup we're going to drill the hole at the back end of our uh, toe clamps for the quarter 20 jack bolt. Uh, so I, when I'm doing a lot of parts like this I would, so I would prefer to do one operation at a time. So we'll go and set or drill all our pieces then we'll swap tools and uh, drill the holes, swap tools again, and then do the tapping. So let's get started.
So who says you can't power tap with a phase converter box? So there's a dozen clamps ready to go. Next step will be to mill a slot in them here for the for the other clamping bolt. So while we have our vise and our stop set up already aligned at midpoint, uh, this is a good time to mill the slots in these uh, toe clamps. So we set our zero at this end, and we're going to go about an inch long. Okay, so I'll plow through the rest of these and I'll meet up with you later. So that's a done deal on the toe clamps. Next thing is uh, start drilling some holes in our table. We'll get at that one soon.